Texas consists of 26 counties from the Indiana border to the Mississippi River. But there are moments when I sometimes think in those 26 counties, I'm absolutely the only Chicago White Sox fan. There's all these Cubs fans. I don't mind the St. Louis people so much. But, uh, but I feel isolated. Uh, but I met another Chicago White Sox fan last week. I was attending a funeral for a wonderful man in Chillicothe and before Mass started. Uh, one of the parish uh, trustees came up and he said, I'm with you, I'm a Sox fan. And then uh, he told me a lot about what was going on with the White Sox. And it was kind of good news. They're spending money. They're buying players. Uh, no more were they going to be in the rebuilding phase. They were going to be in win now phase. And it inspired me to go online and indeed they're open to be crowned in their, in their faction of baseball. I don't say that. I'm not saying they Dream. I don't know what a baby in a womb dreams about, but they can detect that dream. 
means to me. And for us, who are people of faith, that child was created in the image and likeness of God. The face of God is reflected in their little faces. So we can never get tired of being pro-life in our witness as Catholic Christians, in our solidarity with other Christians who are pro-life, our solidarity even with atheists that are pro-life. We have to join together with people of goodwill. We have to march, we have to serve, we have to help, but we can never waver, even when there's a cause for us. I cannot tell you uh, what it means to me uh, to see a cathedral with a lot of young people. Our kids in our schools that are pro-life, you are called by Jesus Christ by name, just like those first 12 apostles, to be his messengers, his witnesses, to serve people who are facing tough situations, to be loving, to be helpful, but to be unswerving, not ready to give an inch when it comes to a choice between our loyalty to Christ and giving in to a world that has always been in opposition to him. Please don't misunderstand me. There's many wonderful things in our world, many wonderful things in your future lives, all sorts of opportunities to enjoy what is good, things that will stimulate your brains, kindle your bodies, uh, but all of them, all of them are secondary to your relationship with Jesus Christ. Get to know him. He's not only here in the cathedral and in every Catholic church in the world, he's also through the Holy Spirit, go further away than your own heart. Be faithful, faithful to the Holy Communion. There's all sorts of things that some folks think communion is just a symbol. Well, it is a symbol, but it is a symbol that makes present what it symbolizes. So when you receive Holy Communion, you are receiving the resurrected body, blood, soul, and divinity of your Savior, the one who was born for you, lived for you, taught for you, died on the cross, he loved you so much, rose from the grave, sent you the Holy Spirit, and loves you even more, even more than your parents that's concealed, more than your priests and teachers, loves you without end. And in that relationship, you know what, guys? You can do anything. You can win any battle. You can get through any trouble. So, all right to lifers, the young folks here in the cathedral and the older folks who've been in this struggle for years, do not get discouraged. Never give up. Keep on fighting. Keep on marching. Especially keep on helping people who are poor or in a tight spot. Especially, my 